Uh, this is Bells and Whistle Sport in association with Reginald's 31 and Safer Training Solutions. We're at Com Carnage Community in Battersea, um, joined alongside Arnold, Youth Worker and Chisel. So Arnold, I'm going to get to you first. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, I'm Arnold, 20 years old. I've been involved with Carnies for about six, seven years now. Started off as a kid, coming to their sessions. Now I'm a youth worker and I coach boxing down here as well. Yeah. So what got you into Carnies community? What, what kind of dragged you in there? What kind of inspired you to get into working with a community? I started, off, I started off with, I was always sporty. So I was on my football for a bit. And as I went through school, I lost love for it. Uh, got kicked out of school and in a bit of trouble. And I met George, a youth worker who works here. He got me into the boxing training once a week since I was about 30 and then it picked up since then so yeah okay a question I wanted to ask you how important is it to have like a youth center where kids can come in and feel like a place of being like a place where they can feel loved and and the way they can come in and work and keep off the streets how important is a youth club like this I feel it's very important because kids nowadays haven't got much to go to maybe at home the parents aren't there or there's no, no support at home so it's important to have places like this where they can come have a bit of fun training playstation have food get a chance to meet their local community people their age and just know there's people out there that actually care for them and they're, they're there to support them okay so obviously you said you like your own to boxing and, and and football yeah so do you have any favorite like uh fighters any boxers who's your favorite fighter at the moment okay at the moment i don't know if you're familiar with a guy called lomachenko yeah. uh, another guy tyson fury bad boy yeah there's my top two at the moment yeah. top two at the moment hands down so now we're talking Lomachenko, obviously I'm a big Lomachenko fan as well. Yeah. Obviously there's rumours he might be fighting uh, Campbell, Luke yeah. Campbell in August 31st at the 0-2. What do you think of that? Are you looking forward to that? You're maybe going to get a ticket to that fight? Do you know what? I think that's going to be a very good fight. Um, Luke Campbell's very good, but Lomachenko makes these very good guys look average. So we'll see what happens. But I think Lomachenko's got this one easily as well. He's just out of this world. I agree, I agree. As we're going to stay on boxing, obviously, mm -hmm. he's mentioned the, the man Gypsy King Tyson Fury. Obviously, yesterday, it got announced that the rematch with Deontay Wilder is going to be scheduled for 22nd of uh, February next year. Yeah. Are you looking forward to that fight? I'm looking very forward to that fight. I think Tyson Fury is going to come in different this time. At the, at the first fight, I think he was just trying to outclass him with the boxing. But I think he knows what he needs to do this time. He needs to stop him because if it's in America, he's not going to get the decision, which shows last time. So he knows what he's got to do this time. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So also, like obviously, with Carnage Community, tell us a bit about that, that schemes and stuff you do here. That's so basically what's on for the kids to do. Obviously, coming up to like summer holidays, so obviously tell us what sort of programs you got going for the kids to come to. Uh, we got something um, going on for our under 13s, which is fit and fed and get fit fast. Get fit fast is a session by me where the kids come down for an hour, hour and a half to train, boxing games, different stuff, just to get them fit and healthy. Um, we've got fit and fed, which are two chefs or cooks that work here as well. They cook for the kids healthy meals after the session, and all of that's free. free charge as well so yeah you heard that you heard that so come down to Carnage community if you're thinking of somewhere to come to in the summertime then you know where to come in Battersea uh, okay we're going to move on to a bit of football now so I know you heard you're a Chelsea fan yeah. obviously I don't watch football now I'm joking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you say you're a Chelsea fan obviously yeah. the news recently Frank Lampard unveiled as a new Chelsea manager yeah. what do you make of that I'm happy that Frank Lampard's back he's, he's been good with the club for how many years before I was even probably born that guy's he's a legend um, only thing I think it might be a bit premature because he's only been what managing for about two two years now he's with Derby yeah so I think he needs to prove himself but I think if he does it at Chelsea then he's going to get the respect he deserves because he already had it as a player if he gets it as a manager he's going to be one of the all-time greats of football so yeah okay obviously staying on Chelsea that like Lampard and that obviously where do you think they could finish obviously they're going to have a lot of players that they can't buy it, and a lot of players are coming back from loan obviously where do you think that realistically they're going to finish in the Premier League uh, new season hopefully by God's grace top three hopefully that's a tall lot we struggled we struggled last year we're getting draws and losses that we shouldn't do but hopefully now the new gaffer he implements of the days when he was playing and maybe changes up a little bit playing players in their right position or their position of strength and hopefully hopefully we get a decent or good season this year because we should be finishing top three easily but it's not been happening recently for us has it so I'm sorry, Chisel wants to talk about a few oh, questions he might want to ask you, so I'm going to add you over to my main man, Chisel. Hello Arnold, how are you? I'm good, mate, yourself? <laughs> I'm right, mate. Um, right. Oh, my club now. 
<laughs> with Hazard leaving, yeah. who do you think is going to step up for Chelsea this season? I think Willian's going to have to do a job and Kante is going to have to hold it down in the middle. But I'm thinking up top, Higuain's left as well, hasn't he? Yeah. It is very, I don't know what we're going to do, mate. Honestly, it's looking very tight for us at the moment. I won't lie, but yeah, Willian's the only person that I can think could do a job. Kante, hold it down centre mid. Who have you got at the moment? Because I've not been watching us recently. Pedro's still there? Pedro's still there, yeah. Uh, Pedro's been doing a, bit, a few Morata's bits. Morata's gone back to Af Atletico? Yep. Yeah. I don't know, mate. Like, financial fair play, we spent too much. Yeah, competition's got like, a permanent deal and I understand them as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Too much. To seek, a new deal. I can't lie. He's been doing well during the Europa Cup, Europa League. He's been doing well, but I don't think he's going to bag 30 for us or 20 for us this season. In the Prem, so. Tammy Abraham. We just have got yeah. Tammy Abraham. Yeah. Coming back. Yeah. yeah. He, he did well on loan, didn't he? Yeah. He did he well. He's a youngster, so it might be a bit of pressure for him, but he's a good player, so he might deliver. You never know. You never know. You're not if, the same. if Chelsea do get a chance for band overturn, mm -hmm. who would you like them to see? What areas do you think they need to strengthen? I think we need to replace or get someone on that left wing to cover Hazard. I mean, he's a, a good striker because the strikers that we've been pulling in, they prove themselves at other clubs, but they can't prove themselves at Chelsea. So when they play that, can play at other clubs, prove themselves, come to Chelsea, do the same for us. I don't think we need a big striker up top as well, because that's where I think Chelsea's been failing, and bringing in Morata, Higuain, Giroud. I think we need a bit of pace, a bit of skill up top, and a, someone that can finish. So hopefully we get something there, up top and on the wing. Just one more question. Obviously, we both come from Batsy, yeah. both local boys. Um, with all the stuff that's going on recently, with knife crime and all, that, what would you tell these youngsters out there about stopping it and how would you get them involved in coming down here and getting involved or even like member Providence yeah obviously youth clubs are not happening no more what would you say to the government about youth clubs and all that what I would tell them is they need to make stuff for the youth to go to when you have nothing to do the only way you can go is the wrong way if you have positive things around you such as sports such as music such as business stuff like that you can get involved in that's the options that you go down when you have no options you always go down the wrong path so I think we need more role models around to be able to guide the youths into the right direction rather than just letting them find their own way sometimes they get a bit lost but that's my personal opinion as you talked about role models I want to ask one question like, how good a role model is George here obviously it's a big turnout here I can see like uh, I can I can see a lot I heard a lot of stuff about George a lot of good stuff tell me how important is uh, George to this place George is a good guy man he's, he's helped out so many people me especially um, started off with him I've been with him for seven years and the uh, support that he offers has just been so consistent like if I'm not down at the gym training I can text him or give him a call tell him oh, I'm struggling with this or things aren't going right I can give him a call and I can have a little chat about him, with him even if it's a negative thing he'll just make a joke find a way to overturn and make you feel a bit more happier and that's the sort of guy he is he's never that sort of guy to look down on you or say well you've done this so there's no chance you can make it right he's always that guy that's looking for a positive outcome and trying to help everyone out always whatever you've done Brilliant, okay. Uh, thanks for that, man. Thanks for that. No so, one more thing. Obviously, what would you say to kids uh, who want to come here? Tell us a bit more about Connie's community and why they should come here. I say come here because it's a good, it's a good place. Able to express yourself, get involved in boxing, get involved in music. If you want to make your own business, we've got people here that can help you out with your business. Allows you to interact with your local community, your age group. That's it, man. It's a good place to be. Loads of different people that you can meet and you never know. We can have people that work in business industry that can help you out. People in different environments that can help you out. It's, yeah, good place to be. Thank you for that, and Arnold, and thank you for that, Chiz. Nice That's Bells and Wheels of Sport uh, in association with Reginald 31 and Training Safer Solutions. Uh, also, check us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and all social medias. Thank you.